So in a few of our other videos, I've shown you multiple times how to use a pigtail like the one behind me when you're wiring up an outlet and you have multiple pieces of Aromex coming in the same box. What I haven't done a good job on is telling you the real why behind using pigtails. So let's dive a little deeper and give you that why you might want to consider using a pigtail for your next electrical project. So first, let's just make sure we're clear on terminology. The pigtail itself is the three wires here, hot, neutral, and ground, that are going from connectors. Here, these are WAGO 221 lever nuts. They could be wire nuts. So they're going from a connector and then just a single hot, single neutral, and a single ground going to your actual receptacle or outlet. So that is truly the pigtail. And yes, don't worry, the power is turned off at this box. So what we have here is we have power coming in on this hot and going out on this hot connected with a bus bar that is inside that connector. So here would be an example. I've just mocked up another option, right? So we still have two pieces of Romex. One's providing power in, one's taking it out just like we have in this box. And we're just leveraging the back wiring for this commercial grade Eaton outlet and using all the terminals. Technically you have spots for four different hots and four different neutrals, but you don't really want to take advantage of all that capacity. And why is that? One is from a convenience standpoint. If I needed to push this outlet back in this box compared to this, it's much harder, right? I only have three wires connected up here. And then here I only am showing four, but I actually would have a ground coming to the ground screw. So I'd have five wires that'd be fighting as I'm pushing that back into the box. So it just makes it much easier with a pigtail to get the wires all back into the box and get your outlet mounted correctly. And then secondly, associated to the National Electrical Code, here, if we use the outlet itself, we're using this device, taking power in and using this device to then provide power out. That is actually against code. You should not be depending on a device to provide power to a receptacle downstream. So you can see when we use a pigtail, power in is actually connected through the wire nut, the bus bar here, and then provided to power out. And then I'm just pulling power to this actual device. But if this device fails, it is isolated to this one device here and it will not have a domino effect downstream. This is fairly common in troubleshooting in old homes. If you do not use pigtails, a problem at an outlet can actually cause a domino effect downstream in the circuit. So that's it, quick and easy. Just wanted to show you the demo of pigtailing. Let me know if you guys have any questions. You do not need to use the WAGO 221 lever nuts. It is my preferred wire connector, even though it's a little more costly. Now, if you wanna dive deeper into outlets, check out this video right here and we'll go over the 10 things that you might not know about the common outlet. So thanks for joining and we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.